Today's webinar is the seventh in a series of webinars organized to increase your knowledge on Anapac products. Today we will have a look at hydraulic tensioning tools. It may be that you are already familiar with one or more of these subjects. In that case we want to renew your acquaintance. If not, then we welcome you and would like you to enjoy this webinar. We have a full agenda, so let's get started. Good morning and welcome. My name is Timo Willemse of the Annapack Academy in the Netherlands. Bolt tensioning. What is bolt tensioning? Applying preload directly to the bolt by stretching it, actually using a tool. Bolt tensioning is one of the methods of tightening. It is also one of the methods of controlled bolting. Controlled bolting means people are trained, they use the right equipment and they follow the correct procedure. If done properly, you can have a calculated result or a verified result. A verified result can be checked with an ultrasonic device like the bolt scope. Control bolting employs calibrated and measurable equipment such as manual torque wrenches or multipliers, air or electric powered torque wrenches, hydraulic torque wrenches and bolt tensioners. All these tools can be used to perform control bolting. This time comparison shows you the difference between using a manual wrench or flogging as they call it compared to hydraulic torque wrenches and compared to hydraulic bolt tensioners. This graph shows you how much time it will take to tighten a certain amount of bolts when using the different methods in order to get the exact same result measured with the bolt scope. Bolt tensioning. Bolt tensioning. Anapack bolt tensioning equipment operates at a maximum pressure of 1500 bar. An important difference between the standard Anapack material and hydraulic bolt tensioning is the pressure. Where standard equipment is used at 10,000 psi or 700 bar, hydraulic bolt tensioners are used at 1500 bar or 21,755 psi. Hydraulic bolt tensioners, tensioning pumps and tensioning hoses are therefore clearly marked with a blue color. This can be a decal or they can be completely blue in case of the tensioning hoses. When talking about bolt tensioning, we have to understand what bolt tensioning is. Bolt tensioning is the application of load to a bolt by direct actual elongation. As said, a stud is inserted into the jointed assembly. It is loose and under no tension. A hydraulic tensioning device is applied to the stud. The device is pressurized, applying a direct actual force to the stud. The force reacts through the stud to the nut on the other side of the joint. This compresses the joint and causes the stud to be stretched. The nut under the tensioning device is wound tightly down against the joint surface. The pressure is released from the tensioning device and the tensioning device can be removed from the stud. Under tension the stud behaves like a spring and attempts to relax back. As the stud's nut are tight against the joint faces, a clamping force is created across the joint. The hydraulic pressure is now converted into preload. Let us watch the animation.
Typically, the joint will be set up to allow 100% tensioning, 50% tensioning, or 25% tensioning. Tensioning tools are designed to allow multiple tools to be connected in sequence. This provides a simultaneous and uniform load across the joint. 100% tensioning means that all bolts are tensioned simultaneously, so at the same time. 50% tensioning means half the bolts are tensioned simultaneously. This requires two steps as shown on the picture. 25% tensioning means a quarter of the bolts are tensioned simultaneously. In this case, you would need to do four steps. The additional stud or bolt length that is required when using hydraulic tensioners is at least one time the height of the nut as a true minimum. As said, 50% bolt tensioning means that 50% of the bolts are tensioned at the same time. It requires two steps. 25% bolt tensioning means that 25% of the bolts are tensioned at the same time. In this case you would need four steps. When performing a 50% bolt tensioning procedure, it means that 50% of the bolts are tensioned at the same time. It also requires two pressure settings. Pressure A has to be tensioned at a calculated pressure of 1000 bar, in this case it's an example, which is called pressure A. Set B has to be tensioned at a calculated pressure of 700 bar, again this is an example, which is called pressure B. When performing bolt tensioning, there's always the load loss factor. Load loss factor is a direct loss of stud elongation as the load is transferred from the tensioning device to the studs nut. Several factors affect load loss, such as thread deflection, the tolerance between the threads will be closed when compressed, nut embedment, when the nut will be pushed into the paint of the flange, and joint compression like the gaskets which will be compressed. Loss of stud elongation is loss of stretch and therefore loss of clamping force. Additional load, we account for this load loss in calculation and apply an additional load over the required residual load. Applied load, each time the load is applied and transferred to the stud assembly, less load loss is noted. And of course the number of cycles or passes. Typically three load cycles or passes are applied. The applied bolt load minus load loss, such as thread deflection, nut embedment and joint compression, equals residual bolt load or preload. Preload is converted into clamping force. This graph is showing you 100% tensioning, which means all the bolts are tensioned at the same time. We just learned that load losses like thread deflection, nut embedment and joint compression will result in loss of elongation. Loss of elongation means loss of clamping force. Each time the load is applied and transferred to the stud assembly, less load loss is noted. Typically, three load cycles or passes are applied. This is how it looks like in a graph. Pressure A is applied three times. In case of a 100% tensioning procedure, you would be finished right now. This graph, the second one, is showing you 50% tensioning, means all the bolts are tensioned but in two different steps. Pressure A is now slightly higher since we need an additional load. We account for this load loss in calculation and apply this additional load over the required residual load. So pressure A in this case is slightly higher than the B pressure. Bolt tensioning provides several advantages over other torque methods. Simultaneous multi-tensioning of bolts. Tensioners can be connected in sequence. It's unaffected by varying frictional conditions. It is very accurate for high bolt load applications and no torsional stresses are induced. Bolt tensioning is therefore faster than torque tightening. Disadvantages. It requires extra bolt length for operation. Remember the minimum additional length of the thread of one times the nut height. And of course, it requires an additional investment. Tensioning products. 
The Anapak GT Series Tensioner Extreme Performance. The Air Tensioning Pump 1500, an ATEX approved air driven pump. The HPT 1500, the hand powered tensioning pump 1500 bar. The ZUTP 1500, an electric driven tensioning pump. And of course a range of high pressure 1500 bar hoses and fittings. One GT tensioner can be used with multiple size pullers and nut rotating sockets. This is a huge advantage. Standard equipment results in easier job adjustable tooling. Remember, Anapac offers solutions. The whole bolting cycle, as shown on the picture, can be supplied, serviced and supported by one supplier. If you are interested in more training on the Anapac line of bolting tools, please contact any of the Anapac Academies. You can use the Anapac Academy links on the anapac.com to contact us. Or you can use the mailbox of the Anapac Academy in the Netherlands, which is eainfo at anapac.com.